So last week I showed you guys exactly how to grow your business by running ads through your Facebook account. So as promised, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do the same thing but using your Instagram account. So with that being said, let's get started. Alright, so the very first thing you need to do is link your Facebook page with your Instagram account because if you do not do that, you won't be able to run adverts on your Instagram account. So in order to do that, you just come over to settings. You're presented with these options over here and then you just click on Instagram. When you click on Instagram, then it gives you the ability to connect your Instagram account to your Facebook page. So when you click on connect, it loads up Instagram. So you basically just log in to your Instagram account. That is the Instagram account that you would like to run adverts on. So in this case, I've actually connected it before. That's why you're seeing this over here. But if you haven't connected it before and this is your first time, you'll be asked to put in your email or other stuff, right? In this case, I click on continue. So now, as you can see, my Instagram account has been connected already. All right, so this is how to do it if you're using your laptop and it's the same process if you're doing it with the Facebook app on your phone. So all you just need to do is go to the page on your phone and then settings and then Instagram. So it's basically the same process. Now I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do it using your Instagram app on your mobile phone. So let's get started with that. All right, so I'm currently in my Instagram page and the first thing you actually need to do before you can even do what i'm about to show you is that you need to turn your page into a business page so if it's still in a personal account you won't be able to see the option i'm about to show you so in order to switch your account to a professional page i'm going to go to a page i just created that is still in the personal page to show you exactly how it works Alright, so this is a page I created that is still a personal page. I don't really use this page at all. So at the top right corner of your screen, you see those three lines over there. You click on that and then you click on settings and then you go to account and then you scroll down. Then you can see this over here. It says switch to professional accounts. The moment you click on this, then it starts giving you the process of switching into a professional account. Now, basically, it's just telling you all it is about switching to professional accounts. You can just, you know, scroll through it, then click on continue. Then it's asking you the category of your account. So basically, you remember when we were creating the Facebook page, it asked us for a category of what our Facebook page was about. Now, I'm going to do the same over here. And then you can choose to display it if you want so you can just click on this to display it so basically when people open your profile they would also see your category as well so if you mark this right now it's going to display finance as well so you can click on done now it's asking are you a business or you're a creator well for this page actually this is more of a creator page so i'm just going to select creator but you can also select business if it's a business page so if you're selling stuff or if you're doing anything that has to do with selling you can put that in there as well so i'm selecting creator because it best represents this page then you press on next then it's telling you to basically complete um these five steps so right now the page has been switched to a professional page so if i go ahead and complete my profile and do all these steps then it's just basically finalizing everything but right now this page is already a business page so you can see the category over there finance and then you can see that this layout has already changed from the previous layout the previous layout just had i think only just edit profile so this now has promotions edit profile and when i update this page some more when i complete the steps it's gonna even show up some more things over here as well all right so that's how you switch your page from a personal page to a professional page and mind you this is the first thing you need to do before you can even connect your page through facebook because if the page is still a personal page you can't actually connect it with your facebook page so you need to do this step first before you can do anything and whenever you want you can only switch back the page from business or professional page back to your personal page all you just have to do is come over to settings again and then account and then you see this over here you can switch back to personal account if you want all right so now that we're back here again all you just have to do is go back to the menu on the top right corner and then you go to settings and then you go to account then you see this sharing to other apps then you click on that and then you now select 
Facebook. So as you can see over here, I've actually connected this page with Facebook already. But let's say it was not connected, that is the way you will do it. You Then you click on Facebook and then you log into your Facebook page. So if I click on this over here now, it just gives me the option of do I want to share my Instagram post with my Facebook page or do I want to share my Instagram story with my Facebook page as well. So I can do that if I want. But once you've done all this or once you've connected the page, it's done already. You don't need to do anything more. Alright, so how do we now start promoting items on our page? Alright, so let's say I want to promote this post. I click on it. And when you started posting stuff on your page, on your Instagram page, when it's now a business page, basically everything that you post now has the option for you to promote just right below it. As you can see, everything here has the promote button. So I'm just going to cl click on promote. Alright, so once you've clicked on that, you're presented with this, which is the goal. So basically, just like how we had it in the last video of what would you like to be the goal of this promotion you're about to do right it's the same thing over here this first one is would you like to reach new people that is would i like this particular post that i'm about to promote right now reach new people which is what i actually want to do or do i want more profile visits and then would i like to take people to a website or would i like people to send me a message when they see my post so as for me, I would like people to actually send me messages based on the post I'm about to promote, right? So I'm just going to select more messages. So as you can see, more messages have been selected. If I wanted more people to visit my website, I could click on this and then as you can see, it shows me more in the action button. But obviously, this is not what I want to do. And mind you, to bring that option again, just have to click on this menu at the bottom here once i click on it you would see it will bring it back up again so basically this kind of explains to you exactly what everything in the goal means and then i click on next in here we have automatic i would not employ you to select automatic because when you're just creating an instagram page or when people are just starting to follow you or when you don't even have much followers right it wouldn't be smart clicking on automatic because by clicking on automatic it's going to be showing your page to people that are similar to people that are currently following you right now now if people that are following you right now don't care about what you post about or about what you sell you're just going to end up wasting your money so it's advisable that you create your own manually at least at the meantime manually create your targeting options so that over time when you start getting people who you have true who you have already targeted and then they start caring about what you're posting then you can now select automatic because basically it's going to be targeting people similar to people that are currently following you and people that are currently following you care about what you post okay so as a newbie i would advise you don't click on automatic instead create your own all right so i'm done currently creating my audience so once you're finished creating your audience all you just have to do is click on the check mark at the top right corner of your screen and as you can see my audience has been created already so once that's done all you just have to do is click on the next arrow now we are over to budget now remember that the budget limit that you have on your facebook account is correlated with the budget limit over here so being that my budget limit is still pretty low, I'm going to adjust the parameters over here to fit in with my budget. Now after you're done with this, just click on next. As you can see, basically this is just a review of all what you've selected. So you can just review it before you proceed. Now there's something I want to show you guys over here which is payment. Now when you click on payment, you can use this to top up your Facebook ad balance. So by clicking on that, you can come over here, put in the amount you would like to put. So let's say I would like to put in 1000 naira. You can do this and then you select local card, right? And then all you just have to do is click on add fund. Now, after clicking on add fund, it's basically going to open your browser and tell you to input the unnecessary information so that they can debit your card. After you fill in all the information, just click on pay. So basically, that's how to fund your ad account. But I already have money in my ad account, so I don't want to add any more funds. Also, you can also still do it using your Facebook account as well. Alright, so here's how to fund your Facebook ad account through your Facebook account. So you just go over here, click on the top right corner, come over to settings, go over to settings. Now you scroll over to ad payments. Once you click on ad payments, it loads up your ad manager and then you arrive over here then all you just have to do is click on add money 
and then once you click on add money you know i've showed you the process on how to do it in the previous video go to local card add fund that's it you can also do it through your facebook page as well so you can come over to add center and then once it opens the ad center then go to payment settings click on payment settings and then you're also going to be presented in the same spot all over again so these are the two ways you can actually fund your facebook ad account using your facebook account now after you're done with all this just start the promotion so you just have to do is click on create promotion and now my promotion is all set so like with your facebook account it's also going to be reviewed over here and like i said in the last video within an hour it's going to be all done and all set and to be approved and if you want to see where the advert is or if you want to see your current promotions that are currently running all you just have to do is click on promotions over here click on promotions and then to show you your promotions as you can see we currently have the one we just created right now it's still in review and then we also have the ability to create a new one if we want and then you can view your insights as well to people that have contacted you people that have liked your page based on your adverts and all that stuff right this is where you can basically view your insights if you've got more questions please let me know in the comment section down below i'll be happy to answer them for more videos like this please click on the subscribe button below and click on notification bell right next to it i release new videos every week and you'll be the first to be notified and if you'd like to support this channel through bitcoin or any other means ways to do that are going to be in the description below so thank you very much for that and i'll see you guys soon cheers